Hey my lovelies. So it's just a quick get ready. I'm not doing anything in particular today. Going to see dad. So I'm literally just going to put a quick easy face on. Really quick and easy. So let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to start with my cannabis sativa oil. Protect and calm. Nice moisturiser. It's from Avon. Moisture back in my skin. I have washed my face. Ooh, let's just get some moisture back in there. What's everybody been up to today? I put a lot on, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I put loads on. But it's all right, it just melts in nice. So, I want to say again, thank you very much for everybody that's been watching my videos. I'm nearly up to a thousand now on my first video, a thousand views. So, I'm really, really pleased with that. So, let's see if we can get it up to a thousand. I think we're about 800 and, and something. So, let's get it up to a thousand. That'd be great. Especially for my first video. Not first ever video, but first video in a while. <clears throat> so that, yeah, that's my Avon Cannabis Sativa Oil. Protect and Calm Hydrating Day Cream with SPF 30. And it's in a really nice, the packaging's really nice, really heavy. It's glass. It's, I like this, I like this, I like this. So because it's got SPF 30 on, I'm not going to put on my... SPF. So I'm just going to let that dry down a bit before I put my primers on. And we're not putting a lot on today. Not a lot at all. I still eared a bit. Going in with my e.l.f. matte putty primer. I love e.l.f. products. They're, they're a cheap, they're cheaper end of the scale, but they are and their drugstore but they're a little i think they're a little more classy and a little better than drugs drugstore but they're at a good price they are a very good price and they're a very good product some of the primers i can't use a hydrating primer for example i've got that somewhere i just can't use that it just leaves my skin shiny and oily and i can't put anything on top of it because it just slides off let that soak in a little bit that's my elf putty primer just gonna use the Garnier BB cream today don't want anything heavy let's find a brush let's find a brush and I'm using this array of brushes at the moment we bought them from Amazon and they were 17, 18 pounds are really good. Really, really good. So I'm going to try and cover a few. Of my blemishes. And incorrections. Imperfections even. And I could go on all day because I've got a lot. So, but I'll just leave that like that. And let that dry down a little. We'll just leave it alone. And then we'll use our BB cream over the top. I've been getting some really nice messages back from you guys as well. Saying that you've got, got some really good tips. And I'm glad about that because that's why I do it. You know. So you guys can enjoy playing with your makeup and make it a bit more fun. My BB cream. And as you'll notice, I've left the concealer. I, I'm going to blend it in as I blend this in. So I'm just going to stipple it first. Because I don't want to disturb that concealer too much underneath. I'm 
and just stipple it everywhere first. Get a nice good coverage. And then I'll start to gently blend. And because this is a BB cream, it's not full coverage. And it's not even medium coverage, I say it's sheer coverage. But that's all I want for today, I don't want anything heavy. But it just blends out those imperfections and the discoloration. Not got very good lighting today. And that's it, quick and easy. It's covered that concealer. I can still see that, that always shows. I don't worry too much about covering that, I just do what I can. And that's it for that. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I'm going to put a li little bit more concealer under my eyes and just conceal those dark circles because they are there and I'm going to use my marshmallow marshmallow come on Wendy what's the word beauty blender that's the fella <laughs> Uh, you'll notice that I, I just lose my words and I can't even remember what I want to say. That's just an everyday thing for me, I'm afraid. So it just brightens up that under eye area a little bit. And I love this Maybelline concealer. You've seen me use it before. It's really good. It doesn't get stuck in my wrinkles and my fine lines. They're not looking fabulous today, however, but really not that bothered today give my bronzing pills a quick shake just because it loosens up some of that powder and it's easy to get it onto the brush give it a nice swirl my bronzing pills i sort of have them in that color they come in different colors lighter shades darker shades i tend to have the more medium range color I do a bit of contour with the blusher. Just in all the places I would normally contour, but doing this very loosely just with the blusher, just to and then I'll do a quick sweep all over the face with the little bit that's left on the brush just to get rid of those really bright white eyes. It's still a bit shiny in places, so we'll powder down a little. It is quite warm out today actually, so if I powder down plenty, I shouldn't, shouldn't go oily and greasy. Just take off that shine. There we go. Shine gone. Oops. And we'll go for a little bit of blush. Trying to stick to everything cream at the moment. I'm going down the cream routine. Cream routine. Cream blusher. I have got some cream contours, but they're not up to. I'm I'm not loving them at the moment, so. I have, 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 have. And you'll see I don't go too far onto my cheeks. I stay in this sort of area. I don't go onto the apple of my cheeks because that draws my face in. If I stick to my cheekbones and the higher areas of my temples, it draws my cheeks up. 
just gives you a better base shape. And I don't like to wear too much blush anyway. I'm not a huge blush wearer. Just nice and subtle. Right, let's get these eyebrows done. Do, 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 do. Still using the £1.50 pomade from Bargain Warehouse because it's a bargain and it's really good so I like it. Excuse somebody drilling into the fence if you can hear that. That's the neighbours doing some DIY. Look at that. <laughs> See if we can get closer, a little bit closer. I'm just going to really gently, really gently coat my hairs. If you try and go in the same direction as the hairs on your brows, you should get a better shape. <laughs> I really don't like doing my brows. It's the one thing that I don't like doing. I like the way they look at the end, but I just don't like doing them. I just wish I had nice full brows anyway, but I don't, and this is what I've got to do to fill mine in. Um, a few of you have been asking about doing brow tutorials, shaping of brows. I will do that for you, I'll go through that with you, but I've got to wait for my brows to grow because I've literally just done them, literally about three or four days ago, I've literally just done them. But I will show you what products I use and how I do mine. <coughs> Again, everybody's eyebrows are different. Bearing in mind, I've got very thin eyebrows that are quite sp sporadic and they don't really grow in a nice shape. So I have to dye mine black just so that you can actually see this sort of outline. And then I have to wax them and shape them. And that's a lot to go through just for little eyebrows like mine, but it does actually make a difference when it comes to doing this part because I've got more, I can see more of the of the hair on my eyebrows to work with because they've been dyed darker. So they stand out and I can see them better. And also when it comes to shaping, you get a better shape if they're darker because you get more definition. And if you've got really thick eyebrows, I wouldn't, and they're not already very dark, I wouldn't recommend dyeing them black. I can get away with dyeing mine black because there's not a lot of them. But if you had a full thick brow, I wouldn't recommend going in with the black. I've tried medium brown and it's not dark enough. It doesn't make much, enough of a difference. So I go in with the black and then I use waxing strips. Self adhesive waxing strips, you just peel them off and they come in tiny little strips just so you can pop them on your brows and get that perfect shape. Like I say, I can't get a perfect shape because I've not got enough to work with to get that this nice shape. But I can get it by drawing them on like this. And because this pomade is very good, these brows don't come off. I always dab the excess off on the back of my hand with, with this, just so I don't put too much on. And it's so hard to get off, because it's so good, it's so waterproof. And I like the colour, it's very nice. It's very, very nice. I take a, this BB cream off my lips. And I'm going to put some mascara on. 
Like I say, we're not doing a lot. I'm just going to curl them. Pop a bit of mascara on. I think that'll be me done. Not doing a lot today. How long has that took? 15 minutes so far. And that's me waffling as well. So, you know, not bad. Not bad timing. It doesn't have to take forever just to put a quick makeup look on. Aren't my eyelash curlers really cute? What mascara? What mascara? What mascara? I need to invest in some more mascaras. I really do. Avon, I've got quite a few interesting ones out. I have tried theirs previously and they're alright. They're okay. But I haven't got great lashes, so I struggle to find a good mascara. Unique, they did good mascaras. But I'm not paying that. So, I am using Colossal by Maybelline. This has been around for quite a while. I remember buying this on and off a few times. And just thinking, yeah, it's an okay mascara. So... Don't think I've used this since I bought it though. So let's see what I think about it now. Or have I? I might have used it in my last video. I'm not sure. The brush is a bit big for me because I've got really tiny lashes. I prefer small brushes. Not the silicone plastic brush, I prefer a bristly brush like this, but I prefer sort of a smaller brush because with the bigger brush I'm prone to going onto the back of my lids and getting it all over. So I'm just trying to be really gentle because this is quite wet and I can see me getting it everywhere. Just take off the extra bit on that tip because I'll get that everywhere. And everyone does the makeup and the mascara different and different amounts of layers and some people don't put any on the bottom. I always like to put dress the bottom of my eyelashes up and put a good layer on the bottom. It looks okay. It's a bit clumpy and a bit spidery for my liking. Look. You see what I mean about the clumpy? I've got terrible lighting in here. Let's see what the second coat does. Let that coat dry. <clears throat> Holy shit, that was a bit. You missed all that. Ooh. I was on battery running low, battery running low. I had to run downstairs and get an extension and make sure it's all plugged in. We're okay. <clears throat> Fatal error. Did not make sure I had full battery on phone. Oops. So we're going up with the other eyeball. And put the first layer on there. any of you have any recommendations for some good drugstore or even more expensive branded mascaras that you want to see me try let me know let me know what brand where I can get it from and then we'll give it a try like I say this one isn't too bad but it's just an okay mascara. Maybelline makes some pretty good mascaras, so there's lots to try from. I don't hate this one, 
but it's a bit clumpy and spider leggy for me. And it's dried so quickly that I can't even get the brush through it to put a second coat on it. Mm, it's quite hard to work with. So this one hasn't had time to dry as much. So let's see how this one works. Yeah, that's a bit better. If you get your second coat on before it's dried too quickly, because I did have to run and get an extension and whatnot. So that had a, yeah, that one does look a little better. Less clumpy than that one. But like I say, we're not going anywhere special, so. Well, we are actually. I'm going to my dad's, that is special. I like seeing my papa bear. Right, I'm just gonna pop a little dot brown shadow under my waterline. Just to open my eyes up a little bit, because as you see, I've got very tiny eyeballs. <laughs> got very small eyes, so if I just pop a little bit of shadow under my eye line, it just I need to invest in more, more, more brushes. More, more, more. I have so many. That's a good one. So I'm just going in with a thin, tiny brush. I'm just going into a dark brown colour in this palette. You can put any colour under there really, if you just want a pop of colour, you can put a nice bright colour under there, but I just want not too dark, black's quite harsh and the older you get, you need to get a little bit lighter with those shades. <laughs> so just popping that under the, the bottom lash. open them eyes up a bit. Like that. And somewhere I've got some white eyeliner. <clears throat> and we'll just put a bit of white eyeliner. bottom just to help open the eye up a little bit there we are so that's just helped open my eyes up a little bit and that's me done that is all I'm going to do I will brush my hair get myself dressed I don't know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1.55 p.m. 1.55 p.m. Can't go down Papa's till three o'clock because he likes to go to bed in the afternoon. And there I am, ready. Look how lovely and shiny my hair is. And that's thanks to my hairdresser. She's cut off all my dead, horrible, horrible hair. And is helping me style it to grow it properly. And I want to tell you her name, but it has evaded me completely. Completely. So I'm really sorry about that. I will give you a shout out the next time when I actually get my shit together and get my head together. And it's right on the tip of my tongue and it's driving me nuts. Leanne Sanders. Why did that take me so long to get out? See, I did know your name. I just oh, can't find the words I need to use sometimes. 
just use, gonna use, was going to use a drop of grapeseed oil just to style my hair a little. It's just splashed all over me. Just helps put a bit of shine in. Gives me a little bit of control with it. And we can go off on our day. I am liking my hair short, but I need a bit more length to it. I think we need to go this part a bit longer. Then I think I'll keep it in a nice short concave bob. And we are all sort that myself. I have got some greys coming through. I do need to book an appointment with my hairdresser. But I am the most skitty, annoying person to book an appointment with. So I'm really sorry about that. I do try, but sometimes I'm a mess and I just can't. You know, popping a bit of setting spray on. Just because it's going to be warm and I'm probably going to sweat. That's me done. All done. 26 minutes, so half an hour. And it's only took half an hour because I've sat down and done a video and spoke to you guys. If I was just quick doing that myself, it would probably take me 15, 20 minutes. So, there we go. Piece of makeup. Not too much. Off to Papa Bears. Love you all. Bye.